Hi, and thank you for purchasing Flight Team Builder Gen S530. In this quick video, we're going to show you how to install your Flight Team Builder uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. <clears throat> so first, what you need to do is to go to our website, which is flightteambuilder.com, and here click on the instructions page, then scroll down to the Microsoft the flight simulator 2020 mapping once you're here you need to basically download one of these seven files and in order for you to find which file to download you need to go to the start menu and start typing joystick so here you will see the different uh, game controllers you have on your system so in my case, I have my Flight Sim Builder 530 as a joystick number one. So this is the file I'm gonna select to download. You can also double click on it. You don't have to do it, but if you double click on the Flight Sim Builder 530, it will open the properties file <coughs> screen. And then you can click on different buttons on your unit and you can see that it's, it's gonna register in Windows also rotate your knobs and you will see they gonna light up all right so I'm gonna download joystick number one once it's downloaded I'm gonna show it in the folder so here I already have it um, exported so I'm gonna delete it <coughs> and just show you how to do it again so you right click and say extract here all right, and it will extract it to this folder. Then once you go inside of that folder, you have a little readme file you can read. Uh, and basically in order for you to install it, all you need to do is just double click on this CMD command file. And it will find your community folder and place this Flight Sim Builder 530 folder in here. All right, that's, that's all you need to do. One of the additional item you can do after this. So what I would do once you install your Flight Simulator 530, I will go in the simulator and verify everything works. And once I verify everything works, I would go and download the additional GNS 530 PMS mod. And this is a really great mod created by by one of the developers who's building um, different modifications for the Flight Sim 2020, uh, which is a really great tool. It expands a lot of the default functionality of the 530 in Flight Sim 2020. So I would definitely do it. All you need to do is again just um, open their archive. Now you already know where your community folder is. So I'm going to go back to the community <clears throat> and just copy it here. I already have it here, so uh, I know it works. Uh, one caveat, because this is a little bit more complicated mod, sometimes it can create issues with, uh, with the new update. So if something stopped working with after an update, um, I usually recommend just deleting it. Uh, and then verifying everything works <clears throat> and then you can download it again from the developer website and put it in a community folder just to make sure uh, that you have the most up-to-date version so this is uh this is all we need to do and uh, let me show you uh, once you basically download this you will start your microsoft flight simulator all right, here, once you're in your flight simulator, uh, we're gonna first test a couple buttons really quick. So here you can see it. This is our 530 in the Cessna Skyhawk. So once I press some buttons on the 530 unit, you can see it changes this in the sim. All right, this is great. So then, but you don't see anything in, on your Gen S 530 unit. So for us uh, to see it on the 530 unit we need to move this screen to the gns 530. to do this you hold right 
ALT, ALT. This is the button on your keyboard right of your spacebar. And that's going to turn your uh, mouse to this little magnifying glass when you're over the 530 screen. And then you click on it. It is going to pop out your 530 screen. And then we need to move it to the GNS 530 unit. And I have it here on the type right corner so you can see it. But one thing just to notice, sometimes you will see something like this, like I cannot move it to the right even though um, it's set up to be on the right. So this is just the windows trying to kind of show you the size of your unit, which is kind of smaller than my monitor, for example. So uh, sometimes you kind of need to go a little bit lower, for example, like in my case. So just keep that in, in mind. And, and again, once you go through it, you will see this on your uh, screen in on GNS530. So then you need to expand it. The easiest way to do it is to, again, uh, hold right ALT and press Enter. It's going to go to the full screen. So now we basically have it on our GNS530 and we can go make the, you know, any kind of button presses, knobs, rotations, and you will see it on the on the Gen S530 as well as in your sim. So this is really good. Now I can go and let's say select uh, San Diego International and click direct, uh, activate. So now in my flight plan, I can see we're going to San Diego International. I can select procedures. Uh, let's say LS runway 09er and uh, yeah, transition is fine. I can activate it. So there's a lot of great things you need to, you can do. Um, you know, I can declutter this even more and just kind of show you, oh, okay, um, where I'm gonna go to fly this approach. We're gonna have additional videos going through the functionality of the 530 to help you to use it and expand your, you know, if you fly in it, the flight sim just to, uh, for fun, then this is a great way to expand your knowledge. And uh, if you're a real pilot, you probably know a lot of this, but uh, again, we're just gonna go through some of these great functions um, <clears throat> so you can use it in, in the flight simulator. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If you have uh, any suggestion, comments, please comment below and uh, we will see you in our next video.